Good morning, guys. Welcome to Friday, the day before the horse show. Actually, when you guys are watching this, we'll be at the horse show. Sophie actually has a cold. Again, every time she goes to a show, she has a cold. Not a very bad cold, but a virus. They're going around. Yeah, it's the first day. It's the first day. Every time I turn off the camera, this used to happen when the girls were little too. Every time I turn off the camera, I just turn it off and the girls would still be talking and they always say the funniest things. But Sophie, Sophie says she has to isolate herself before every horse show from now on for a couple of days, just stay in her room so she doesn't get sick because it's not fun showing at a horse show when you're sick. And that computer I can bring in my She has a nice little computer, brand new, that she can take in her room and watch movies. Oh, all this fall weather. This coldness outside makes me wanna go sit in my room and watch movies. It makes me wanna make my room nicer. On the agenda today, uh, Farrier is coming, so we have to clean up all this mess, and it's hard to see. The light is like insane. This is gonna be our first Farrier in the cold. Sophie wants to give everybody apples before the Farrier. Like, make them wild and energetic and make them... Do you think stars can be wild? You never know. Anyway, we gotta get this cleaned up because she's gonna be here any minute. Sam's always buying stuff for the horses. The thing about the show, I told you guys, is that their show's always, this show always runs really late, like 9, 10 o'clock at night. And the they always do like from the lower groups up to the bigger groups. And then the bigger groups at a derby, they jump out of the arena into like the field and it's not lit. So it's not as safe. So this time they got super smart and they're going to do it in reverse. So we don't even have to go first thing in the morning. We get to go, yeah, we get to sleep in. We get to go a little bit later in the day. So that means that we get to do like, get lady cleaned up. We won't be bathing her, it's way too cold. But we get to get her cleaned up and all ready for the show and we get to braid her in the morning. So when you guys are watching this, we'll have been braiding and getting her ready. We can sleep in, we can do all the stuff and still get to our show. Like I'm so excited about that. Without waking up early, it doesn't feel like a horse show. I know, that's true. Comment below, but they have stadium lights. Like they have lights. Their arena. Them. No, but people say it makes you feel like so cozy and fun. Like we don't ever do a night show. It'll be our first nighttime show. It's not gonna be fun when it's cold. Yeah, it's gonna be freezing, but we're gonna deal with that. All right, so that's it, you guys. You can hardly even see because it's so bright out. It's so bright out. I don't know if I should. There we go. All clean and fresh. I'm actually proud of us. Like it could be way worse. Hey. Gabby is a wild today and she just had coffee so she's gonna get even more wild large she's the old extra shot of espresso you got a large I coffee I did not get an extra shot of espresso well, it got right I mean, no. you got a large coffee Gabby is why are the buckets in there? Gabby is wild so Sam does, Sam does chores before he goes to work in the morning he throws the buckets right there Somebody brought them all in here. I guess I should take them in the house and clean them. Um, <laughs> they all had their feet done and now they're all like, let's run away. <laughs> let's leave. Oh, hi, girly. I hate doing horses feet the day before a show because sometimes they can, it's like, they can get tender. Oh, I stole your horse. Yeah, I just came to give her an apple. Give her rest. Because look it, <laughs> they're all coming now. Oh, Stormy's running. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Penny was in heat. Basically asked the farrier to breed her. <laughs> How did her hair get braided? Uh, yeah, I love it. Look at that braid. A black and white braid. That's so fancy, Penny. So, so fancy. I need to give you a good brush. You've been rolling. Oh my goodness. Storm takes forever to chew? That's what Gabby said too. An apple for everyone. You get an apple because you got your feet done. She ate one. She ate it in one I know. She takes one bite. Come on, babies. You take Gracie. I'll take those two. Okay. You take your babies. I'll take this good girl. Here. You give an apple to Gracie. 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 Uh-oh. Don't come behind me. Lady. <laughs> lady. Lady does this thing. Listen. If you know, want to know what that is, it's Lady chewing right beside you. Everybody takes forever except for Lady and Penny. And Gracie. 
tasty. She took the entire thing. <laughs> yeah, I see it. The juice falling out of her lips. Hi. <laughs> Lainey does this weird thing where she walks right behind you. I don't know if it's like an Amish thing. You can hear. You can hear it. So you just hear clop, clop, clop really loud. And then she, you look and she's like right behind you, which is fine because I trust her. What I don't trust is that Storm will come up or Penny will come up and the lady's like, help! and then runs you down. So that's why I'm like super picky. Anyway, our horses were all perfect for the farrier. Like so good. All right, so mad at me. She <laughs> only got one apple. How many apples did you give them? One. She's mad because she only got one. Oh, uh, uh, Willow is? Honey. Honey. Look at her. <laughs> I know. You know how like, so like you're mad at your husband and you're like, ha, ha, ha. And you like walk and you're stomping your feet. I don't do that. You but know what? Storm's actually yeah, getting along with them very well. <laughs> you do that on the regular. <laughs> Walks around stomping her feet. Anyways. That's what Honey just did to you. She was like stomping her feet and walking right behind you. Yeah, I'm surrounded. Yeah, this could be my winter fit. No, <laughs> give me that coat. Uh, yeah, if that's the thing at this house. If oh, <laughs> she's in treats, like help. She doesn't that anymore. <laughs> Listen, why are you at me? I got it's because I have something in my hand. Me. Ew, you have like slime all over your butt. Get it off. Ew, it's like apple slime from a horse. Get it off. Mm, I'm good, thanks. <laughs> Start. No! <laughs> Sophie. Bye, buddy. I love your new feet. They're so pretty. The next time she comes is before Christmas, you guys. Like in December. Wait, I'm coming. Whoa. <laughs> Holy moly. Don't leave me out here by myself. Anyway, I love, I love when the vet comes. I love when the farrier comes. I learned actually a bunch of new stuff from her today. Amazing. Love her. Love him. And it's glorious outside. Like it's cold, but not so cold. Look, they're literally at the age now where they just walk off and leave me. Okay, so we're just getting out ready to go do chores. It's actually so dark outside. 6 p.m., you guys. It is black out there. But anyway, I wanted to show you guys something before we go out. This is my Bible. And this is uh, another kind of Bible that I have. But I wanted to show you guys something that I read today. Okay, now my yeah. kids don't believe that I read the Bible. No. I read it, Gabby. I read the Bible. I only read certain I don't kind of books. So. All right. Tell me something that you know about the Bible. I don't read a Bible. <laughs> All right. Well, I was trying to tell you guys that I also read <laughs> devotionals, but this is something that was amazing to me when I read this today. Is that my, did you use my highlighter? No, I used Sophie's. And it didn't work. But anyway, so I read this 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 thing today. Second highlighting. How are you that bad? I I'm so bad at highlighting. Bad. It's because my highlighter wasn't working good. Uh, there's so many critics in this family. Holy moly! But anyways, I just wanted to read this to you guys Your because both pink. this is something okay. that I have been saying to you guys for so long, okay. and it just says it in a nicer way. But basically, it says basically it says that on really sunny, happy days, it's easy to find joy but that on other days that are overcast and gloomy, when you feel the strain of the journey, which seems endless, but joy is still attainable. It says that you should search for it as though you're looking for hidden treasure. And that's what I say all the time, you guys. I say, go out there and see, find the mini miracle that God has planned for you. Each day has a mini miracle, but what I really wanted to tell you was his suggestion in this. here and it's all gold. I know, isn't it the nicest Bible? It's such a nice Bible. Oh my gosh, you guys, you know what? Everybody's freaking out about my Bibles. Like, what the heck? Let me show it to them. There's the bookmarks on the very first page, so I don't think you <laughs> And if you did, first page. No. She read the first page. <laughs> There's two bookmarks also. <laughs> They're both on the same first page. Yeah. Here, let me see it. I want to show them. Well, these pages are weird. Come here, give it to me. Would you guys want a Bible? No. I could get you a Bible for Christmas. We have like a million Bibles. I think we're good. Okay. So the reason why I like this Bible is because one, it's pink and it says God is within her. She will not fall. And then it's got painted. It's painted here. See? And then it's got all these flowers, but it's really hard to see them. I watched a 
so pretty. Like, it's such a pretty Bible, and I love this Bible. Okay, so that's what it looks like inside. I don't like, it's hard for me to read because it's so small, but I'm still able to do it. Get glasses. I have glasses, yeah, it's still glasses. really hard. But anyways, back to my mini miracle thing. It also says here, but this is just for people who believe. This is, a, this is for inspiration. It says on days that are really hard, on gray days where it's really hard to find joy, begin by remembering that I've created this day. It is not a chance or it's not a chance occurrence. Recall that I am present with you whether you sense my presence or not. And then it says, just start talking with me about whatever is on your mind. Rejoice in the fact that I understand you perfectly and I know exactly what you are experiencing. So it's such a good thing to think about that when you're like really struggling, you know how you get like start getting super frustrated and angry. If you just start talking to God about what you're feeling, it can help calm you down and it can help relax you and it can help you find your joy again. Oh my gosh, this house is crazy. If it's not the kids going crazy, then it's the dogs going crazy. All right, let's go, let's go do chores. It is dark, you guys, dark and cold. But you know what? Next week, it's supposed to get summer again. The first of October, the first of November, and it's gonna be summer again, only for two days, and then it's gonna get cold. Hi, Gracie girl. Okay, oh, all are they all looking at us? I can't yeah. see. Get my ponies, because you're on the opposite side. Well, Gracie's right down at the fence. It's so true, you guys, like, if you start thinking about what you're grateful for, it changes your whole, it changes your whole mood. Like sometimes I feel frustrated with things that are going on in my life or I feel trapped with certain things that are going on in my life. And then all of a sudden I'm like, wait, I don't want to be like that. I want to be grateful. And then I say, well, and then wow. I start Oh, wow. I just walked through the gate and made Sophie close it. Bro, uh, wait, where are the boys? Right there. They're at the. Who else was at the gate? Who else was there? Billy, the black one, and the spotted one. I'm always on the lookout to see who's in heat, and usually I can find them at the fence line. Okay, but honestly, you guys, if you start thinking about all the things that you're grateful for when you're feeling sad or you're feeling disillusioned about how things are going in your life things change so fast and just by changing your attitude you can bring happiness into your life and I believe in that doesn't he look so funny come on big guy I'm gonna go get you some food It's so funny because when I feed Posey and I bring in her fresh water for the night, she just stands there eating and she looks up at me and she's like chewing away and she nods her head as though I'm like her servant. I feel like our goats think that too. Aww. Oh, I thought you were coming to say hi to me. What is that on you? You have a cut. <gasps> oh no. That's from a goat for sure. I'm sorry, Posey. Right, are you done? Yeah, I'm coming. Poor baby. Anyway, if you made it past all that religious stuff that's super important to me, but I realize it's not super important to all of you guys, um, and that not everybody can take inspiration from that. Um, if you made it this far, I want to tell you that I was talking to a friend today and I just found out that she lives in Chicago. And I've met a lot of people on the internet over, over the years and I've never met anybody that lives in Chicago. And it made me realize how interested I am in where people live. So if you feel like it, comment below what state you live in or what country you live in or just a general idea of where you live. I think it'll be super interesting for us to all kind of see where everybody's coming from. I love my Posey girl though, and I love Ellie and Posey together, but Posey's kind of been replaced for Ellie with Mr. Kirby man, her Mrs. Kirby. I always think of her as a boy. Wait, what's on your, let's make sure there's no, I'm always feeling her for ticks. All right, that's it, we're done. See you guys tomorrow. Wish Sophie luck for the horse show. I like, I'm nervous because we did our farrier the day before horse show and notoriously she's a little sore.
I'm nervous because I'm sick. I've been sick for like every show. Almost every show. Look at how cute my puppy is. All right, I don't feel like she's gonna be sore, but in the past there have been a couple of times where she's sore, and it's not because of anything our farrier's done. Well, especially she has, like almost the whole day tomorrow. To... Yeah, like she just. Come on, Ellie. Anyway, I'm in the dark now, so that is it. We're gonna say goodbye. Wish Sophie luck, but I wanted to tell you one last thing. <laughs> uh, Sophie, so we have our banquet coming up soon, and Sophie. Last year, Sophie got reserved champion at our banquet. I think I showed you guys that. We went to our Christmas banquet, our award ceremony for the season. And Sophie's sixth this year. So in walk, trot, pole, she's sixth. And cross, wear ales, she's seven. So anyway, she'll, they only have ribbons to six for the banquet. So she'll get a ribbon for cross rails, which is super uh, fun. Poles. For poles, I mean. But it's exciting because Lady was a new horse, a new start. A new beginning. Sometimes in your horse journey, you have to stop, go back, start again. It happens to a lot of people, and I, I love that. You've never got a pink with her? Nope. Sixth place is pink, so Sophie's excited, and I love that about Sophie. I love that how she looks at shows and how she. I want a black ribbon. Gabby got one once. What was black for? Like tenth or something. Tenth? Because remember the jumper show I went to, and she decided she wanted to ride my pony and do the two foot. All right, well, maybe you'll get 10th tomorrow. They only some places go up to 10th, and it's very rare. Oh, well, anyways, so I wanted to tell you that she came 6th and 7th over the series, but the crazy thing about that is that she only showed two out of the three shows, so that made a huge difference. When you miss one out of three shows, it makes a huge difference in your points, so she probably would have even done better. Whenever you're feeling frustrated or stressed, or any of those things, remember what I said. Look for God's and many miracles. Go around and look for something to be grateful for. And you'll be shocked at how it changes your outlook on, on your day. See you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful?